Hello Drone Racers and welcome to the very first coming soon to Drone Racer 101. I mentioned on Patreon that I had a huge pile of boxes that showed up at the house today so one of my patrons Aaron Rolliter suggested that I open them on camera so I thought why not that sounds like a great idea so I'll show you what's coming up soon and what I have in mind for it. Can you even see that? There's that better? Still don't know what it is? These are micro coax connections for connecting antennas. What these are gonna be for is the FreeSky XSR has the antennas soldered directly and I've broken two of them. They need repaired, but instead of just soldering the antennas straight on, I'm gonna install replaceable connectors. So we're gonna go through a video together and see if I can actually get these soldered on because I think that'll make them much more versatile since I plan on using them for a long time. Racer Star 8 amp ESCs. I have totally destroyed my Baby Hawk, so I plan on transporting it into a new frame. To do that, I need some ESCs that aren't total garbage and support 3S because I want it to be able to be 3S. So we're going to see if the combination of the Baby Hawk and some decent ESCs put into a bigger frame turn that thing into a little monster because a lot of people love the Baby Hawk. Mine just wasn't so great. Na 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 bat drone. Looks more like a dragon to me, but they call it a bat drone. So this is a bat drone. It's a wearable drone. It's a bat drone, and you will have to wait to see what I have in mind for this. It's probably the most embarrassing thing I've ever done in my life. Okay, this might be the thing I'm absolutely the most excited about. This is the remote that comes with the DYS Elf if you got one. My Elf didn't come with one, so I've actually never used one, but now you can get them separately. And here is why I'm so excited about it. It's actually a FreeSky transmitter, and it's $25. This is an eight channel, $25 FreeSky transmitter. It's not a long range, but is it enough? I'm really curious to set this up and see if this might be the best, cheapest starter remote. Because I'm a free sky bigot, you know that, if you've been watching any time at all. This supports DAR, and it might be a really, really good option for people that want to get started on the cheap. We'll see how these gimbals are, we'll test it. We've got plenty of switches, we've got a lot of options. That's even a three-way switch. Yeah, we've got two three-way switches on and off program it. Will it do what I want it to do? I have no idea. Maybe somebody else has tried it, but I'm going to find out for myself. Which micro drone is the fastest? Well, there's only one way to find out and it's to have a radar gun, but I do most of these videos by myself. So I picked up this, the Smart Pro Sports Radar to see if I can get this thing to recognize a drone. Should be really interesting for comparing speeds of multiple drones, comparing props, comparing batteries on drones to see which one really is the fastest. It's a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like much bigger than this. It's, it's very small, so I'll have to figure out how I'm gonna use it and see if it works at all, but I'm really, really curious to try that. We're gonna try this tomorrow, actually today, depending on when you're seeing this, or we've already tried it. Uh, yay, time flux of YouTube videos. More like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. Anyway, we're going to try it with a 5S on the Wizard. It's probably going to be the first thing we try it on to see how much faster it is with 5S and different props. So we'll see how that goes. Everybody at this point probably knows that they need a smoke stopper for testing things. I've had several times where I've mentioned it in review videos, so I'm going to go ahead and build one and I'm going to build what I think is going to be the ultimate smoke stopper because not only do I have the light bulbs to save things, spoilers, I'm installing a switch. Heard me complain about binding your quadcopter without enough hands? How about a smoke stopper with a switch on it? I think that'll make things a little easier. And if you screw it up, it doesn't explode. Ultimate smoke stopper coming soon to Drone Racer 101. Look, it's the amazing F200. But Mark, haven't you already reviewed the amazing F200? Not this one. This is the pro version or the high-end version. Banggood sent us this one because they were happy with the review of the first one, which was awesome. I, I actually love that drone. It's been great. So now we've got the high-end version with better pretty much everything. Everything. It's the main one of the big thing comes with the run cam. That'll be great. T Motor 2600s. These things should rock. It, it's definitely lighter. Uh, I can't tell. We'll, we'll find out when we do the review how much lighter it is, but I can tell just right off the bat it is lighter. You can see there it has a buzzer, so I don't have to add one of those myself. 
this thing should be pretty awesome right out of the box. It's like they named it that way just so you have to call it awesome over and over and over. Man, I, I can't believe how much lighter that thing feels. Maybe it's because I don't have props on. I don't know, we'll see. I can't wait to find out. After doing the upgrades, the F200 standard is probably my favorite 250 drone at the moment. So is this just gonna wipe the floor with it? It should. The big question I have is, is it worth the extra money? Because for $12, I made the standard pretty freaking awesome. This is the one I'm probably the most excited about. This is the one I wanted. I wish it got here faster. I don't know if it's here soon enough for me to be able to get it done and done quickly, but we have a true all-in-one flight controller. It's 30 amp by four ESCs, flight controller, PDB, everything you need all-in-one for 18 grams, hint, hint. Fairly lightweight, 2205, 2300 KV motors. So those, those don't weigh very much and then a frame that doesn't weigh anything. Lightweight builds are all the rage right now, so I'm gonna do my own. And look how skinny those arms are. They're thick, they're practically square. So this thing is the Blackbird frame by Real ACC, and we've got some motors and a controller. All we need left is a super lightweight camera and a super lightweight transmitter. Once I combine those together, how much is this thing gonna weigh? I don't know, I haven't actually done the math yet, but it's practically nothing. The answer is it's gonna weigh nothing and it should be pretty insane. I am very excited to see what this looks like. The biggest part of the question is the motors, are they light enough? Are they high enough KV? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. So that is what's coming soon to Drone Racer 101. The only thing I didn't show you was my new fluffy microphone covers for outside. So hopefully that stupid wind that won't go away this year stops messing up my audio. If you enjoy this look into the future, let me know down below. So I know if it's something I should do in the future when uh, big piles of boxes show up on my porch and my wife says, what? Did you get now actually she had a whole bunch of boxes today too but my birthday was yesterday so i'm pretty sure they're not for me thanks again to aaron on patreon for giving us the idea patreon is definitely going to help be able to keep these going and consistent At the moment i have more items than i have time to review them but they will work through really fast without a doubt and then we'll be ready for another load and after they've been reviewed, some of these are probably gonna get given away there because I'm gonna run out of room in this basement very quickly. Also, while you're at it, let me know which of these you want to see the most. If I have to pick which of these I'm gonna do in order, which one do you wanna see? I've got several other things I have to get to first. What gets you most excited? The ultralight, the F200, the $25 free sky controller that may or may not work. And until next time, remember, na 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 na